American family. toast or eggs or something more fitting for the most important meal of the day? No, thank you. Dad and I always eat cereal for breakfast. Okay. He doesn't usually let me have Mega Puffs. Why? He says the first ingredient in this cereal is cavity. Oh. Uh, okay. Um, how about scrambled eggs? I'm good? idea. Tomorrow's Saturday. Why don't we go visit Santa? Are you past that? Aunt Holly, I'm 10. Right. Sorry. It's just when your dad and I were kids, there was always a present under the tree that nobody could account for. Grandma and Grandpa didn't buy it. It was always just there, waiting for us. Weird, right? Gabe? I need to get to school early so I can get some extra help on my math homework. Well, I can help you. My teacher doesn't want you to help me anymore. Right. Yeah, math has changed so much since I was your age. Right. Can we just go? Sure. Aye, aye, Cap. Warp speed ahead. Star Trek? No, never mind. Hello? Hi, lady. Yeah, of, of course I have time to get your dry cleaning. And your coffee? Uh-huh. My dad and I, we always go ice skating at Christmas time. That's a good idea. We could go ice skating at Rockefeller Center, and then we could decorate the tree, and bake cookies, and go shopping. I love Christmas. Cookie and shopping. You know I'm a boy, right? Some of the best chefs in the world are men. And what I meant was we go to a toy store and get some ideas for Christmas presents, boy Christmas presents. I don't even know what I want. The Teletron. Can we go look at them? All right. But you never know what's going to be under the tree. Have a great day. Don't forget how special you are. <laughs> Sorry. Bye. 
God bless you. That's strange. He said he wanted to see me right away. Let me say why. All right, I'll be right there. Thanks, buddy. Hey, hey hold up. Hey, hold, can you hold up? Dashing through the snow on a one horse open sleigh. All the hills we go. Hey, can I get a tall, non fat latte with extra whipped cream, please? $3.90. Okay. I know, non fat whipped cream. You must think that's odd. Freaky. It's for my boss. She's full of inconsistency. She actually hired me to be the marketing manager, but now she just treats me like I'm her personal assistant. There you go. <clears throat> it's empty. You're all out of bucks. Really? Uh, okay. I, I have cash. Um, hang on. Here, why don't you let me get it? No, it's okay. I, I have it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Look, just let the cute guy buy the coffee. I have to get to work. I actually am a personal assistant. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I'll buy yours tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, if you decide to come tomorrow. If not, I'll just wait for another time. Not wait like I'm stalking you. I mean, wait like a normal person. Who sounds like a crazy person. Jake Finley. Uh, Holly. Wilson. Nice to meet you, Holly Wilson. You too, Jake Finley. <laughs> uh, your dress is... Oh, thank you. I, I designed it myself. It's actually reversible. You can wear it during the day, and then you flip it inside out. You can wear it in the evening, like, you know, if you have a date. <laughs> Did that sound like I was asking you out on a date? Because I wouldn't. No, not that you're not someone I would date. It's just I was explaining about the dress, and uh, I'm going to go now. See you later. Hey, it's a deal. <laughs> it's a deal. Am I my game show? Morning, Betty. Morning, Jake. It's the mood like in here this morning. He's been his warm, fuzzy self all morning. He gave me a big hug and asked me all about my cats. Isn't that bad? He's still mad that I hired a store Santa. Well, you know how he feels about Christmas. I sure do. I tried sneaking this into the break room. Betty, you got that number yet? Refuses to use the intercom. I'm on it. Go on in. Wish me luck. <laughs> Good morning, Dad. Are you aware that the Intellitron is the hottest, most sought-after toy of the Christmas season? Yes. But I also believe that during these tough economic times, people are going to go back to the basics. Old-school toys like train sets and board games. So with your vast experience of two months as manager of the store, you decided that the hottest-selling toy of the season should be completely unavailable at our store. Why do people send Christmas cards? To be nice. Look, Dad, when you made me manager, you said that I was in charge of all decisions, and I've decided that people don't want to buy plastic toys that break the first hour you play with them. Those toys are a waste of money. That waste of money is our profit margin. We depend on Christmas revenue to balance our yearly bottom line, and toy sales are an essential part of that plan. So sales, that's all that matters. Look, when I was a kid, you used to say that if you treat people with fairness and respect, the sales will follow. While we're on the subject of Christmas, I would like to revive the tradition of the Finley's employee Christmas party. I think it's important. Why don't you concentrate on bringing in customers and boosting sales? Look, I am convinced we are going to sell out this toy department by Christmas. Christmas is in 10 days. I hope you're right. I'll resign as manager if we don't. I'm willing to stake my job on this. You just did. Delivering sketches. Thank you. I cannot lose this job. 
How are things going with Gabe? <laughs> uh, well, let's see. Um, I fed him sugar for breakfast, helped him fail a math test, and uh, embarrassed him in front of his new friends. Yeah, kids are resilient. Have you uh, heard of this toy, Intellitron? That's what he wants for Christmas. That's what every kid wants. Should be easy to find. David's brother is coming to town this weekend. I was thinking that you could... No, no thank you. First of all, I have no time to date. And second of all, David's brother is getting a divorce. Isn't he the one who pawned his wife's wedding ring for Mets tickets? Like I said, he's getting a divorce. <laughs> Thanks, but I'll pass. Right now, Gabe is the only man in my life. Whatever happened to Chaz? That tall guy with a Porsche. Uh, well, it wasn't his car or his real name. Ooh, that happened to me once in college. Tad oh. Hamilton. Holly, finally you're here. Go. Oh. It's cold. It's eight blocks to your favorite coffee place I tried. Speaking of Holly being late, I need everybody to stay late tonight to help me get ready for tomorrow when I'm going on the Home Shopping Channel to showcase my new average woman dress line. Every woman. What? It's not your average woman dress line, it's your every woman dress line. I said that. Because every woman deserves to wear a Lindy Low dress. We're now available in several department stores and online. I know your marketing strategy. I paid for it. Right. Um, I have to pick up my nephew at 6. That's when the after-school program closes. Your what? Uh, my nephew, Abe. I, I told you about him. My brother, Mike, was deployed overseas, and I'm in charge. OK, everybody. We all have to stay late tonight, except for Holly whose life is more important than ours. Sorry. I assume we'll be at the studio tomorrow for my television debut. Uh, of course. I'm excited about it. It's going to be great. Well, let's hope so, considering it was your idea. Lindy. Have you had a chance to look at my sketches for the dress design? I run an entire company by myself. I barely have time for my own basic needs. Now you want me to mentor you? I hired you for marketing, not designing. All right. Sorry. It's not a horrible idea, this little black dress of yours that's reversible and goes from day to night. I mean, it needs a great deal of work, and it's obviously not couture. But it's not a horrible idea. Thank you. Welcome to Finley's toy department. May I help you? Help me. Are, are you shopping for your children, boys or girls? No, I... Uh... We have a huge selection of classic toys. Do so you follow me? I'm sorry. Um, uh... who, who are you? Mrs. Miracle. Yes. Actually, I'm Mrs. Miracle, but they made a mistake on my name tag, and I kept it because it sounds so hopeful at this time of year, don't you think? I'm Jake Finley. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Can I interest you in um, some puzzles or game boards? Oh, we have slinkies. <laughs> this is Finley's department store. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so silly. Of course. 
Oh, you, you're JR's son. <laughs> uh, so you know my father then? Oh, only by reputation. Now, see, I've never had the pleasure of meeting him, but I am so glad to have met you. <laughs> oh, I see you have your coffee. Uh, how did that go? Fine. <clears throat> see, I'm, I'm the store manager. The manager? Oh, is that wonderful. You must be so proud. And the funny thing is, is I don't remember getting a call from Human Resources about you. Oh, well, I'm just here to help you save Christmas. And the toys are just flying off the shelves. Actually, the biggest one of all, the train sets. Train sets? Yeah. Uh, well, how many have you sold? Two. <laughs> Two. That's right. Oh, have some Christmas cookies. My mother used to bake them just like this. The uh, stars were always my favorite. Oh, I must bring a plate of these to your father. Uh, uh, no. B please don't do that. Well, why not? My father doesn't celebrate Christmas. Could you excuse me for a moment, please? Well, sure. Okay. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Do you know anything about this new employee? I thought you hired her. Hmm? Yeah. She was standing outside this morning wearing the name tag when we opened. Could you do me a favor? Could you call HR and see if they sent her? I will. Yes. I think she might just be a confused old lady who wandered in off the street. You think so? No, come on. Her name is Miracle. She says she's here to save Christmas. Unfortunately, we may need a miracle this Christmas. You have no idea. Premiering Saturday night. Christmas is... Through the snow in one horse open sleigh. Over the fields we go. We're laughing all the way. If you don't need anything else, I'll be going now. No, that'll be all. And thanks for staying late to finish that inventory report. Sure thing. Good night. Night. Betty! Betty, I threw these Christmas cards away this morning. Did you take them out of the trash? No, I didn't. Well, I, I don't understand. I, I... Never mind. Good night. Night. You remember what day tomorrow is, right? Of course, how could I forget? Christmas shopping in the city. I need extra lunch money next week. I had to borrow from the office today. I forgot to give you your lunch money? Again? Oh, I'm so sorry. I mean, how are you supposed to learn anything when you're too weak to concentrate? No big deal. <sighs> well, other than that, Minor fiasco. How was school today? Fine. Hey, I know how hard it is to start at a new school, and I know you miss your friends from back home, but I promise you that every day it's gonna get a little bit easier. You told me that last week. What's this? Oh, this is vegetable brown rice. What are these green things? The green things? That's zucchini and spinach that I put in the sauce. See, you get to eat what you love, and it's still good for you. That's what the Healthy Kids recipe book calls win-win eating. Mm. Yummy. Peanut butter and bananas. Oh, look at all the toys. 
Okay, so these are the toys from my childhood. Oh, you see that jewelry box? Yeah. I used to have one just like that. Oh, I love that jewelry box. I wonder if it plays music when the little ballerina goes around inside. <sighs> they don't have it. What? In Teletron, why don't they have it? Well, they'll probably have one inside. Let's go look. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Could you help us, please? Oh, well, hello. Hi. Welcome to Finley's. This is Miracle? Oh, no. Actually, it's Miracle, but you can call me Miracle. Well, I think my nephew wants to look at... Intellidron. How'd you know? Everybody wants that for Christmas. So do you have one? Not one. But we do have some tried and true toys. Toys that have withstood generations of children. Yeah. Come on with me. Let's go to the fun zone. <laughs> Uh, was that your son? No, that's my nephew. His mom passed away a couple years ago, and his dad, my brother, Mike, was deployed overseas, so he's been with me for a couple months. Oh, that's great. It's not great. It's it's horrible. That's a horrible story. It's it's great <laughs> that you have a nephew. <laughs> it's okay. <clears throat> Thanks again for buying me coffee the other day. You're welcome. Do you know when you'll be getting in some more Intellitrons? Oh, no, honey. But come here. Let's go tell Santa. See him way down there? Go tell him what you want for Christmas. Okay? He's not real. Well, of course not. But the little children don't know that. And they get a kick out of sitting on his lap and pulling on his beard. <laughs> I used to do that when I was little, too. Well, it's still worthwhile telling him what you want. Because then he tells it to the real Santa. The real Santa? Well, like you said, he's a store Santa. He's not real. He's just a hired Christmas helper like me. But he can contact the real Santa and give him the messages. Right. Oh, go on. Go tell him. I hope you don't mind. But I suggested to Gabe that, that he tell Santa what he wants for Christmas. Well, thank you. I, I wanted to get a picture of him sitting on Santa's knee to send to his father. Must be hard on kids whose parents serve in the military, yeah. especially at Christmas time. Yeah, it is. We don't expect his father for another nine months. Oh, wow. Excuse me. Is that... Gabe is lucky to have you. You love him, and he knows it. Your efforts will be rewarded. great opportunity to reach a wide audience, so don't worry. You're gonna be wonderful. And it's been proven. Being on the Home Shopping Channel expands your customer base. I'm sure you're gonna sell like a million dresses. I think you're right. I'm a natural for television. I should have done this a long time ago. Why didn't you recommend it sooner? I, I did, but... Okay. Oh, Lindy, I I'd like you to meet somebody. This is my nephew, Gabe. Nice to meet you. I pictured you bigger. Is that what 10-year-olds look like? I guess so. Are you sure? Um, hey, Lindy, another way to expand your sales would be to market to larger size women. Why do you keep bringing that up? The plus size market is not built for high fashion. Well, I'm not talking about plus size so much as normal size. See, um, your dresses only go up to a size 10, but because of the way they're cut, they usually only fit a size 8, and most women wear a 10 or a 12. When I start designing for women who have let themselves go, it's the day I'm out of the fashion business. Is that what I look like? I thought I looked younger. You look really nice. Well, thank you, young man. Smart kid. Huh? Oh, get this out. They hide the truth. 
dress. Tis the season to... Goodness, is that your lunch? <laughs> it was on my purse. I believe I sat on it on the subway. <laughs> oh, well, lucky for you, honey. I brought just enough for two. <laughs> Is that ropa vieja? Uh-huh. My grandmother used to make that for me on Christmas. Really? She said, buena comida es el corazón de la familia. Which means that good food is the heart of the family. You speak Spanish? Oh, poquito. <laughs> Muy bien. <laughs> How long have you worked here? I have worked for Finley's department store for 30 years. That's a long time. Oh. Mr. Finley Sr. must be very good to his employees. He is. We don't see much of him since his wife died. He used to be on the floor working with us the whole day. He used to throw the most amazing Christmas party across the street at Vincenzo's for all the employees and their families. Well, Mr. Finley Sr. is a very handsome man. Have you met him? No, no, no. He just sounds like he's handsome. <laughs> I call HR. Heavenly resources? Human resources. Oh, oh right, right. That's, that's what I meant, yeah. They never heard of you. Really? Well, that's not so surprising. I mean, they hire so many people at Christmas time. But I'll straighten things out. Thank you. <laughs> De nada. <laughs> This close to Christmas, we all have parties to attend. That means we all need the perfect dress to wear. We are so lucky to have fashion designer Lindy Lowe on the show today. Welcome, Lindy. For the first time on the Home Shopping Channel, we are offering Lindy Lowe's designer dresses size 0 to 10 to the general public at affordable prices. Tell us more about your new Every Woman line. Thank you, Claire. I am so happy to be here to offer a bit of sophistication and flair to the average woman who ordinarily would not think to dress with any real style. Uh, I, I think what Ms. Lowe means is that uh, all women want to dress like fashion models. We all want to make heads turn, don't we girls? Right. We all want to look like we just stepped off the cover of Vogue. <laughs> as unlikely and delusional as that sounds. I am in so much trouble. Oh. Lovely evening. This is Miracle. Yes. Miracle, Miracle. To the best of my recollection, we do not have an employee at Finley's named Miracle, and I pride myself in knowing the name of every employee at the store, including seasonal staff. Actually, it's Mrs. Merkel, but they made a mistake with my tag, so I just kept it, because it has a nice ring to it at this time of year. I still don't recognize the name. Well, I wouldn't let it worry you. We're all getting older. They say the first to go is the eyes, and then the mind comes close behind. And suddenly, you and your teeth are sleeping in separate beds. I beg your pardon. You used to spend your days working alongside your employees. Now you don't come out of your office. You can't expect to know all your employees if you don't interact with them. And they miss you. What department do you work in? Toys. I work for your son. And he's doing a marvelous job managing this store. Well, where is my son? He was supposed to be here at 6.30. We're having dinner and he's late. Oh, you, you didn't get the message? Oh, I'm sorry. No, he had to cancel. He's doing inventory. Well, then, good night, Mrs. Merkel. Good night. Mrs. Merkel, do you need a ride? Oh, no, thank you. I have a ride. But I, I, I have a feeling that, that Gloria could use a ride. Gloria? Yes? Mr. Finley's offered to take you home. Oh. You know that you live six blocks away from him? Did you know that? How do you know where I live? Oh, goodness. You've lived in the same place for 30 years. Come on, honey. Hop in. Oops. Well, I guess it'll be OK. Well, that's awfully generous of you, Mr. Finley, but I, I wouldn't like to take you out of your way. Gloria, Gloria Martinez, right? I remember you. You worked for me for a long time. You, you started in the, the shoe department. 
Oh, what an amazing memory. <laughs> yes, sir. I have worked for you for 30 years. I remember you. You used to wear your hair down, though, and, and curly. Yes. Well, please. After you. <laughs> Buenas noches. Good night. Bye. Good night. There's a nice cafe for dinner at 77th and Madison Avenue, in case you get a flat tire in the area. <laughs> Was that my father's car pulling away? Oh, I believe so. We had dinner plans tonight. Frankly, I'm happy to get out of it. I don't know if I could stomach an entire dinner of I told you so's. Well, you followed your instincts. And that's a wonderful quality. If you plan to run this store someday, you have to trust your own judgment. I don't think my father is ever going to retire. You know, I have to thank you for all the hard work you've been doing. Your Christmas spirit certainly has been contagious around here. I do love Christmas. Gloria tells me you used to give a big Christmas party for all of your employees across the street. Yeah, we did. And we don't do that anymore. Oh. My mother, she died on Christmas Eve, so my father thinks it's disrespectful if we celebrate. I don't think so. In fact, I miss celebrating Christmas with everyone. You love this store, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, it's like a second home. Well, why don't you stand up for yourself? Tell them how you feel. <laughs> well, you're a Finley, too. Has anyone ever told you that you can be very nosy. Oh, yes. Every day. Sometimes twice a day. <laughs> I'm going to catch a cab. Or you could walk home. It'll relax you and clear your head. Yeah, I suppose you're right. <laughs> this city is beautiful this time of year. Vendors selling roasted chestnuts. <laughs> Maybe I'll grab a bag, huh? He's wrong, you know. I beg your pardon? Your father is wrong to think that celebrating Christmas is disrespectful to your mother. Celebrating anything in her memory honors her. Good night, Mrs. Merkel. Good night. Hi. Oh, to chestnuts. Oh, it's a Christmas tradition. You want to get some? Yes. OK. <laughs> Jake, again. Holly, again. Keep running into each other. Here's that way. Three bags, please. You live around here? No, um, we're coming back from ice skating. Oh, nice. You know, when I was your age, Thank you. my mother used to buy me a bag of roasted chestnuts. And we'd go for a ride in a carriage around the park. <gasps> Can we get a ride? Please. Well, I don't think we have a choice. <laughs> Down Fifth Avenue, please, sir. Be careful. Thanks. This is so cool. Get you? I it would snow. <laughs> it's not Christmas unless it snows. I don't think that's going to happen this year. <sighs> See that? Mm. That's the only toy Gabe wants. The only problem is Santa can't seem to find one. Uh, that toy could cost me my job. What? I decided not to stock it in the store. Why not? Uh, I think kids should have toys that spark their imagination. You know, it's. When I was a kid, I had these plastic toy soldiers I used to play with in the backyard in the dirt for hours, fighting imaginary battles, defending imaginary castles. <laughs> I played with the same green and yellow jump rope for an entire summer. <laughs> I was afraid that was going to happen. It's been a long day. You know, my apartment's just around the corner. You guys could take my car service home. Oh, it's okay. I appreciate it, but we can take the bus. I live in Brooklyn. I have a car service that I pay for by the month that I never use. I am pretty sure they make fun of me behind my back. You're doing me a favor. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> Seeing Christmas through the eyes of a child, just kind of like living it all over again, you know? Here? Finley, Finley as in Finley's department stores? I'm, I just put that together now. <laughs> it's okay, it's a common last name. <laughs> All right, big guy, here we are. Just hop right in, okay? Well, thank you again. Welcome. <laughs> Night. Good night. Hey, uh, do you want to go out sometime? I'm not really dating right now. Um, between Gabe and work, I just, I don't have any free time. Me neither. How about Monday night? <laughs> well, I don't have anybody to watch Gabe. I haven't left him alone for a night since his dad went away. Then why don't I bring dinner to you? Both of you. That would be wonderful. Okay. Monday night, Chinese food? That's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Mine too. Okay. All right then. Thank you. Night. There's nothing like roasted chestnuts to bring people together. <laughs> You're in early. I'll have to get a jump start on my day. <laughs> oh, I like your hair like that. It's very festive. Thank you. I always used to wear it like this. I don't know why I stopped. How was your weekend? The strangest thing happened. Mr. Finley dropped me home Saturday night, and we got a flat tire right in front of this little coffee shop. So we decided to go in have dinner. We have a lot in common. My husband died the same year his wife died. Imagine that. Yeah. Good morning, Gloria, Mrs. Merkel. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Finley. How was your weekend? Fantastic. <laughs> I made myself a new scarf. What do you think? Oh, it's lovely. And how was your weekend, Mr. Finley? Uh, it was very nice. I ran into Holly Wilson and her nephew Gabe on Saturday night. Oh, great. <laughs> Did you make another date? <laughs> oh, sorry. I is that too nosy? Actually, I did, yes. I um, am taking dinner to her apartment tonight. Oh, and I know a great restaurant with takeout Chinese food. Of course you do. <laughs> See you later. Adios, amiga. <laughs> Adios. <laughs> I'm trying to find an Intellitron for Gabe for Christmas. It's all he wants, and they're sold out everywhere. Oh, here. I go on suchhotstuff.com. It's where you can find sold out and hard to find stuff. I got Donnie and Marie concert tickets there last month. Did you just say Donnie and Marie? Don't judge. <laughs> you think they're going to have an Intellitron on here? Yes, but they'll be selling hundreds over cost. I don't have hundreds over cost. Oh, hey, how does Saturday go at the home shopping show? Oh, I don't think there were many sales, and she managed to offend most of the viewers, and I'm pretty sure she's going to find a way to make it my fault. In my office, now. I cannot believe I let you talk me into going on that stupid show. People with taste don't buy clothing off the television. 
Their main audience is probably prisoners or shut-ins. It's all part of the new marketing plan. I, I thought it would be a way to expand your client base and reach out to women who never shop in the designer department. Well, you were wrong. Women who shop off the TV don't wear nice clothes. They wear prison jumpsuits or robes around the house all day and then they call it a house coat. You should visit some of the shops where we've expanded your line. I mean, take a look at, at your buyers beyond the designer shops on Madison Avenue. Get to know your core customers. You want me to go to a retail store and look at people? Ordinary people? Oh, what is this, another one of your marketing ideas? No. Yes. Join us. <sighs> Only one week till Christmas. Sales are steady, but there's no way we sell this out. Well, I wouldn't worry about that. Most people wait to the last minute to go shopping. Dad. What are you doing down here? You never come down here. The elevator is being serviced, so I have to use the stairs, which means I have to pass through the toy department in order to leave the store. It's nice to see you, Mr. Finley, out of your office. Oh, hello, Gloria. Mrs. Martinez. Hello, Mr. Finley. Awfully quiet here, isn't it? Sales usually pick up late afternoon. Hmm. It's 5.30. He means closer to 6. Most people like to come late. <laughs> it's thrilling for them to see if they can get here before we close. <laughs> Let me walk you out, Mr. Finley, so you don't get lost. I have no intention of getting lost. You know, you remind me of a great literary figure. Really? Who? Scrooge. Excuse me? As a Finley store employee, I was disappointed to learn that you had canceled a Christmas party. That's one of the reasons I took this job. It was canceled 20 years ago. I know, but they still talk about it. Apparently, it's off the hook. What? It's an expression they use today. And I know that Jake is trying to reinstate it. He mentioned that Jake should worry about sales and not parties. Sales are great. We're going to sell out the whole toy store. Really? You sound very confident. I am. Well, I'll tell you what. You sell out the toy department, and I will throw a huge Christmas party. Wonderful, and I will plan the whole thing. Yeah, well, I wouldn't get started just yet. What are these Christmas cards doing here? I threw them away. Then they were in my briefcase, and now I find them in my pocket. It's easy to get confused at our age, but I hear that Ginkgo Biloba boosts memory. There is nothing wrong with my memory. Well, then read the cards, because people miss you, and they care about you. This is absurd. So I use my degree in design marketing to get a job with Lindy Lowe. <laughs> I'd really like my own dress line one day. Oh, well, then you will. I will? Mm-hmm. Positive thing is my new thing. You just think about something you want, and then you get it. Sounds simple. How's that working out for you? <laughs> I don't know yet. I just came up with it, so. <laughs> I should go check on Gabe. How long has he been with you? Two months. My brother got called up in October. He didn't have to go because he's a single dad, but uh, he's the kind of guy who does the right thing. He's that guy, huh? Yeah. Yeah, he's always done the right thing. He was, uh, he was a great big brother. <laughs> when Gabe's mom died, he went through a rough time, but he managed to pull himself together, and he's just become the best dad to Gabe. Well, they're lucky to have you to step in. He's a great kid. I'll be right back. Gabe was all excited after getting an email from his father tonight, so it took him a while to get settled, but he's asleep now. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. On Christmas Eve, my brother and I used to sneak downstairs when our parents were asleep, <laughs> and we would open our presents. No, you did not. Uh-huh, and then we would rewrap them and open them again the next morning. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And you'd pretend to be surprised. No, oh, I actually got pretty good at it. <laughs> so tell me about Christmas with your family. My mother died Christmas Eve 20 years ago. Freak accident, snowstorm, two cabs collided. My father and I, we haven't celebrated Christmas since. I'm so sorry. You know, since then, he's really just shut himself off from everything and everyone. Every Christmas Eve, we get on a plane to the Virgin Islands, and we don't come back until after New Year's. It's been the same thing for 20 years. He calls it a vacation. It's really just an escape. I have no idea why I just told you that. I never tell anyone that. Well, it's good to say things out loud. Helps put them in perspective. How did you get so smart? Let's see what our future holds. <laughs> All right. All right, that one. Okay. You first. <laughs> Your efforts will be rewarded. That's what Mrs. Merkel told me the other day. <laughs> okay, what does yours say? Secret. <clears throat> what? Secret. I can't tell you, it might not come true. I... Okay, fine. <laughs> Maybe if I whisper it. Shopping tonight. I want to get something to send to my dad. I don't know. By the time we get home and you finish your homework, it's going to be pretty late. But it's almost Christmas. I have my own money for my allowance saved up. What about tomorrow night? We'll see. We'll see usually means no with my dad. Really? It's starting to sound like a real parent. We'll go shopping before Christmas. Uh, Thursday, okay? Promise? I promise. Oh, by the way, I heard on the radio that Toy Central is supposed to be getting a new shipment of Intellitrons today. Really? Hmm. Thanks for letting me know. Bye. Have a good day. Oh, excuse me, but could you help me find a dress? I want to go to a Christmas party. Oh, I don't work here. I'm just looking. You look so familiar. <laughs> I'm Lindy Lowe. The designer? Oh, wow. Oh, I am so honored to meet you. <laughs> wow, what a rock. <laughs> but you see, my problem is I work all day, and I want to go to the Christmas party, so I need a dress that goes from day to night. Oh. Well, apparently my dresses are sold here, but I'm not sure that they'll be in your, um, well, your dimensions. Oh, that's a shame, because my friends and I would, well, we'd look great in your style. I mean, oh. they're flattering on any figure. Really? Oh, yes. You know what you should do, Miss Lowe? You should look around, because most women don't look like you, or the fashion models on the cover of those magazines. No. I see we're more the, the you know, the lovable variety. Bye-bye <laughs> oh. <laughs> now. Oh, bye. Well, I just called Toy Central. 
I got a shipment of 20 Intellitrons in today. That's great. They sold out in six minutes. Uh... Holly, stand up. What size do you wear? A six. Carol, stand up. Oh, you are considerably larger than Holly. What size do you wear? Uh, 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 a 10, I guess. Okay, a 12. All the women in the office stand. Huh. Call the factory. I have a wonderful idea. I want Lindy Lowe dresses to be made in sizes 0 through 16. What a fabulous idea you just had. Yes, I'm taking a huge risk. But sales have been horrible this season. I don't know if large women care what they look like, but if they do, let's exploit them. Hmm? Oh, and Holly, call the Home Shopping Channel. I want to go by on Thursday to film a new spot. I will. <clears throat> And on a whim, I'm throwing in your little black dress. Really? Yes. This is either the smartest decision I've ever made or the stupidest decision you've ever made. Your job is on the line, Holly. These are your ideas. fantastic news, Holly. This is your first step as a dress designer. You know, I'm going to call the show and I'm going to order three of those little reversible black dresses. Well, that's very generous of you, Jake. You know, you actually are my target consumer. Consumer advocates are saying that the Intellitron, this season's hottest selling toy, heats up and explodes if you play with it for more than an hour. Can you with only a, a week to go until Christmas, people are headed to stores in droves to return the Intellitron robot. Let's go to Jane Binkow and Manhattan for more. Are you listening to this? More. Yeah, I'm listening. I'm standing out in front of Toys of Plenty as angry customers line up for refunds. Now we're being Turns told out I was right not to stock the Intellitron. Well, oh, it looks like we both have something to celebrate. Line up behind me, as you can see, there will be big trouble ahead for retailers selling the Intellitron robot as well. <laughs> special bottle for a special occasion. We don't want to wake up Gabe. <laughs> <laughs> Two black dresses and exploding robots. Perfect. All right, here we go. And oh, no. oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> I own that, and I have like three hotels on my property, so you owe me like a billion dollars. <laughs> okay, you are seriously good at this game. You are both ruthless and power hungry, and you now have all my money. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna take that as a compliment. <laughs> now, it's because I have the lucky thimble. The what? This is like the Monopoly power piece, okay? Whoever has this thimble wins the game. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's just psychological mumbo jumbo and you were trying to psych me out. Uh-uh. No, I actually took the thimble with me to my SATs, ace them. <laughs> Maybe you're just wicked smart. No, no, it, it was definitely the thimble. <laughs> I'm actually going to call my company Thimble Designs. I like that. Me too. <laughs> you know, you and I should go on a real date. You know, fancy clothes, fancy dinner, the whole thing. What do you say? Well, Gabe does have a friend down the street who offered to have him over for the night. All right, well, what do you say this Thursday? I'll send the car around. OK. Thursday. It's less than a week until Christmas, and for the rest of this week, you can order one of these gorgeous dresses designed exclusively for our home shopping customers. They are now available in size 0 to 16, and a new highlight is a little black dress that is reversible and goes from day to night in a flash. This is like owning two dresses Excuse in one. Excuse me. Yoo-hoo. And the good news is that this dress saves you from that walk of shame. The what? You wear the dress to the office, then you sleep at your co-workers, go to work the next day after reversing the dress. You're welcome. So you have until 5 o'clock. Pick up the phone and call now to get your very own 
then below. It's called the every woman design because every woman should have one of my dresses in their closet. But just in case you do get invited somewhere. Here you go. Happy holidays. Wow. You look very snappy. Oh, well, thank you. Snappy is what I was going for. <laughs> See, I told you things would pick up. Yeah. We got lucky. Turns out people want toys that don't explode. See? You were right after all. Yeah, I guess you're right. See, you have to ask yourself, do you want to be right or do you want to be happy? I would like both. Oh. <laughs> I'm checking out early tonight. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Next? Oh, thank you. for waiting. I'm so sorry. Gabe, I was at the studio with my boss. It's no big deal. No, it is a big deal, and I promise you it's never gonna happen again. It's Thursday. We're supposed to go uh, shopping tonight. Uh, it's not gonna work tonight, buddy. It's late. You promised. I know I promised, but sometimes adults make promises that they just can't keep. Even if they really, really want to keep that promise, sometimes life just kind of gets in the way. It's not fair. I know it's not fair, and I'm really sorry. My dad never breaks promises. I wish he were here. Me too. I still have time to cancel the reservation. We'll just do it another night. Okay. Bye. Hi, I'm Candace, and you're watching Great American Family. Come on home. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and I want to give each and every one of you one last chance to get your very own My Pillow for Kale bed sheets. Go to mypillow.com or call the number on your screen, use your promo code, and you'll get the lowest prices ever. For example, you get my best selling queen size, regular $89.98, now only $39.98. Percale is a type of weave that gives you that cool, crisp feel. These bed sheets are available in a variety of colors. They're durable and they come with deep pockets that fit over any mattress. They're absolutely amazing. So go to MyPillow.com or call that number on your screen now. Use your promo code to get my king size, split kings, or... Maybe we could um decorate the tree tonight. Whatever. Gabe, Gabe, I'm so sorry about what happened. I, I promise you that I'm going to make it up to you. Gabe! You look horrible. It hasn't been a very good day. I didn't sleep very well last night. I'm pretty sure Gabe hates me. And I forgot about this date I had with this great guy. Not to mention the fact that I'm pretty sure I'm going to be fired today. Really? None of my marketing ideas have worked. She has every right to fire me. Well, she wouldn't fire you for something like that. She fired the girl in the showroom for wearing too much orange. Oh. This is Holly. What do you mean he's not there? Where is he? I'll be right there. Attention! I have an announcement. It's Kate. He's not at school. I dropped him off there, but he must have left. What do I do? Please. Excuse me. They already did that. I, I gotta get to the school. Or should I go home first and see if he's there? I don't know what to do. I have to find him. But I am about to make an announcement. You're gonna have to make it without me. I can't make it without you. It's about you. Okay, I get it. Sales are lousy. It's all my fault, and I'm fired, right? N never mind. I quit. He's only 10 years old. No, he's never done anything like this before. He's a responsible kid. Uh, can, can you hold? I have another call. Gabe, is that you? Mrs. Merkel from Finley's? 
Gabe's there? What is he doing there? N never mind. Just have him wait for me and don't let him out of your sight, okay? I'm on my way. Uh, Finley's department store, please. Gabe? I thought it was best to call you so you wouldn't worry. Thank you. I can't believe you did this. You took the train here all by yourself? You could have been killed or kidnapped or worse. Don't you read the newspaper? No. Well, you shouldn't. It's terrible. Well, why did you do this? I had to. Three more days till Christmas. And there's no more time. That is not a good enough excuse. Your father trusts me to take care of you. You're my responsibility. You scared me to death. I'm sorry. Well, you're still in trouble. Let's go. Get your stuff. There's going to be consequences. I'm in charge of you, so it's my responsibility to punish you, and, and you're grounded. Hey. Hey, everything's okay. He's safe now. Everything's okay. He just came I here to buy. I was afraid I'd lost him. Sometimes kids do silly things. It's not a big deal. This is a huge deal. He, he could have been kidnapped or, or killed. Or yeah, he... but he wasn't. He's fine. He did something wrong, and he's never going to do it again, are you? No, you don't understand. This is my fault. I, I should have known he was going to do this. I should have taken the time to take him shopping myself, and I didn't. Ollie, this is not your fault. Yes, it is, but it's never going to happen again. I just got fired. Wait, you lost your job? Yes, but it's okay because I'm gonna get another job that's gonna give me more time to focus on Gabe. He needs me, so from here on in, I am going to be the best aunt in the world. Look, why don't I come over tonight and we can talk about all of this? No, please don't. I, I told you when I met you that I don't have time for dating. Why, I just think you might be overreacting. You don't understand. I took this on. I promised my brother that I would take care of his son. He's on the other side of the world and he's depending on me. Come on. Gabe, can I get you anything? I'm fine. Do you want me to heat you up something to eat? Fine. Dear Mike, I miss you. It turns out I'm a poor substitute for you. I never knew being a parent was so hard. And love isn't enough. You have to listen and really hear what your kids are telling you. You have to watch and really see them for who they are. It's not just about feeding them and getting them to school on time. I wasn't listening or seeing well enough and Gabe almost got hurt. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Christmas, big brother. Don't worry about anything at home. Gabe and I are doing great. Be safe. I love you. Holly. Oh, Jay. Yes? Your father wants me to give you your plane ticket. And when will that delivery be? Great. Okay. I gotta go. Okay, thanks. What is it? Mom died 20 years ago. She wouldn't have wanted us to just stop celebrating Christmas. It was her favorite holiday. The subject is not open for discussion. And we are going away on vacation just like we always do. Vacation? We, we don't go to the islands to, to lounge on the beach or to snorkel or to sightsee. We go because you can't bear to be here during Christmas. I will not discuss this. I'm not coming, Dad. I'm not a child and I'm not running away from Mom's memory or Christmas anymore. Fine. Do what you want.
Unfortunately, authorities apprehended the Santa impersonator before he committed another robbery. And in other news, tomorrow is Christmas Eve and still no snow. It looks like it's not going to be a white Christmas after all. Now let's go to Jean Binkow in Manhattan with an update on the Intellitron disappointment. The legal and financial issues for the makers of Intellitron continue to mount tonight. The line outside this toy store wraps right around the block as angry consumers return the faulty robot. We have one of these concerned consumers with us now. Can you tell me how you feel about the defective Intellitron? Well, I, I didn't buy one personally. See, I work at Finley's department store, and my boss, Jake Finley, didn't stock the Intellitron. Sparkle? He felt that this is Miracle? Economic this time. is Miracle? We should all turn back to a simpler time when toys were safe and playtime was filled with creative wonder and imagination. Finley's department store is dedicated to its customers. And tomorrow, in honor of our military, Finley's will give a portion of the proceeds of every toy sold to children whose parents are in the military. So come be a part of the real true meaning of Christmas and give back. Remember, the happiest people are people who bring happiness to others. That's a Finley's guarantee. Well, that is a wonderful message. Reporting this live from Marvel. Manhattan, back to you in the studio. That was Jane Binkow in Manhattan. Here's hoping all you last-minute shoppers will be marching on down to Finley's department store tomorrow to help support this noble cause. When we return... Yep. Hello? Holly, you left before I had a chance to tell you my big announcement. A thousand of your little black dresses sold in an hour. A moderate hit. Beginner's luck, of course. My dresses sold out in sizes 10 to 16. You were right. Fat people do care how they look. Okay, so you're not fired, but I would like to talk to you about maybe developing your dress line. I think with my help, you could be somewhat successful. Really? Yes. Now, there are so many things that I want to talk to you about. Lindy, I'm going to have to call you back. I'm in the middle of something. Hi. I thought you'd gone to sleep. I wanted you to wake up to a decorated tree. We should have done it days ago. I'm sorry. I know it's not Christmas yet, but I want to give you this. Dad told me you like to open your presents before Christmas gets here. He told you that? You did this for me? I wanted to surprise you and get you that jewelry box we saw in the window. That's why I went into the city by myself yesterday. Sorry I scared you. I love you so much. I love you too. Mr. Finley. Good morning, Mrs. Markle. I saw you on the news last night. I was standing on the street, minding my own business, and this reporter asked a question, so I answered it. Well, I like your idea about supporting the military. That wasn't my idea. You're the one who thought it would be hard for children with parents in the military, and that Christmas would be especially hard for them. I guess you're right. Well, I try to make a habit of it. <laughs> the toy department didn't sell out. I'll be handing in my resignation today. This is my last Christmas at Finley's. Oh, no. Oh, don't be silly. You are the future of Finley's. I told my father I would quit if we didn't sell out, and he's not very happy with me. I don't think he'll have a problem accepting my resignation. Your father is a stubborn man. <laughs> have you uh, spoken to Holly? I don't think that's in the cards. Didn't even get a chance to give her a Christmas present. She'll come around. It's Christmas. 
It's a magical time. You just have to take a leap of faith. <laughs> Strange. Said we weren't going to get any snow. Well, you know those weathermen. They never get anything right. Wow. It's beautiful. <laughs> Miracles happen every day. Gloria, what's going on here? I got here very early, and they were already lined up. They all saw Mrs. Merkel on the news. Thank you for supporting our troops and reminding us of the real meaning of Christmas. My pleasure, dear. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Dad. Can you please? <clears throat> Did you authorize that a portion of all toy sales go to support mm -hmm. children whose parents serve in the military? Uh, yes, I did. And as you recall, I'm still the manager of this store, and in this department, I make all the decisions. Good job. Next, please. Don't just stand there. There are customers we have to bring up. Remember customers? Mm -hmm. They're the people who buy things. OK. Here we go. OK. Here we go. Next. Rock'em Sock'em Robots. That's the toy that made me want to become a lawyer. Really? Yeah. Personal injury. <laughs> Hey, and thanks for bringing back the real meaning of Christmas and supporting the kids. That was my son's idea. <laughs> Let me bring this up. Yes. The night before Christmas. That's what my dad would read to me every Christmas Eve. Really? What a coincidence. It was the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring. Not even a mouse. The stockings were hung on a chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. Oh, oh, good night. Good night, Mr. Philly. Good night. And thanks for all your hard work. Merry Christmas, you two. Merry Christmas to you. See you boys later. So, if we don't get the big one. Well, that was quite a day. <laughs> People really responded to your idea of getting back to basic toys. And it didn't hurt that you decided to authorize that donation. You were right about a lot of things. Well, it turns out I'd rather be happy than right. I guess this means I'm not fired. I never really planned on firing you. In fact, I'm thinking it's time I turn the store over to you. I think I'd like to retire, work on my golf game. You've never played golf. That's why I need to work on it. <laughs> I came here today to bring you something. Come on. I'll show you. What's this? It's a present that was bought for you a long time ago. the train set your mother and I bought for you a week before the accident. This is the XL Express. Uh, this is what I wanted. They don't even make this anymore. This is a collector's item. You've held on to this all these years. Every time I wanted to throw it away, I heard your mother's voice telling me, Hold on to it. Hold on to it. I realize now she's telling me to hold on to Christmas. Can I help you? I know you're closing. I just got into town unexpectedly, and I need to buy a toy for my son. He wants some robot. 
but I just heard on the news that they explode. <laughs> I've been away for a while, and I can't go home without something special. How about a train set? It's a perfect toy for a boy. I couldn't take that from you. No, please. Take it. Wow. You saved my night. How much do I owe you? Nothing. It's on Finley's. Customers come first. Really? Thank you. Thank you. Merry Christmas. I won't forget this. Merry Christmas. You have your mother's heart. Man needed a gift. It's Christmas Eve. Go on, Dad. Let's go home. That's curious. That's Betty and her husband. Where's that music coming from? Don't know. Come on. This looks like all the parties your mother and I used to give every year. Oh, hi, guys. How about this party, huh? Oh, the bar is open. <laughs> I told Mrs. Merkel we could throw a party if you sold out the toy department. I never thought it would actually happen. A leap of faith. Where did you say she came from? I have no idea. <laughs> she came to me and said she was going to help me save Christmas. Hmm. Well, I guess she did just that. Wait a minute, don't you have a plane to catch? What about your vacation? I'm not escaping anymore. Merry Christmas, Dad. Merry Christmas, son. Excuse me, just a minute. Merry Christmas. Mrs. Merkel, thank you for organizing this party. And Merry Christmas. Thank you, sir. And Merry Christmas to you. Thank you. Feliz Navidad, Gloria. Feliz Navidad, Senor Finley. Thank you. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. drew names for the Christmas lottery. I won. Here, son. This is for you. I can't believe it's you. All your Christmas wishes seem to have come true. I love when that happens. Hmm. That sort of thing doesn't happen every day. What's that? Well, that you get something back that you cherished, that you thought you lost forever. I'm a lucky guy. <laughs> and it means so much more when you have someone that you care about, that you can share it with, don't you think? Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Thank you, dear. Listen. 
You hear that music? Finley's Christmas party is back. And you have to come. But my brother, he's here with Gabe. Well, bring them, bring them both. I don't know if I can. Please. I need you here. It just wouldn't be a Christmas party without you. Hey, you made it. Yeah, heard there was a party. Hi. Hi, Gabe. Hi. Train set. Finley's guy. Well, this is Jake Finley. This is my brother, Mike. Of course you are. It's a pleasure. Uh, we'll throw a great Christmas party. Gabe? Oh, come here, sweetie. Excuse us. Come here. <laughs> Hello. Hey, I'm sorry about the other day. I was worried and upset and... No, please. Don't think anything of it. Here, this is for you. Hey. Go ahead, open it. It's my lucky thimble. This is perfect. Mm. You look absolutely beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> oh, honey, I'm so glad that your Christmas wish came true. What do you mean? Well, you asked Santa for your daddy to be home for Christmas. How do you know about that? Well, I, I must have overheard you. But I didn't say it out loud. Oh, my goodness, it's so late. I, I, I've, I've got to run. Can't you spend Christmas with us? Oh, I would love to, sweetheart. But I... Uh, I have to move on. See, there are other little boys and girls who need me. And you're with your family now. I wish my mom were here. Me too, sweetheart. Your mother is so proud of you. You knew my mother? I know her like you know her. In my heart. Oh, sweetheart. I have to say goodbye. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Mrs. Miracle. Oh. <laughs> Bye. Thanks. Where did Mrs. Miracle go? She said she had to move on, that there were other boys and girls that needed her. She said that? Of course she did. Christmas, Holly Wilson. Merry Christmas, Jake Finley. Thank you.